Hi Aries, welcome to your timeless reading for the week ahead. Please remember these readings are general and for the collective, so take what resonates for your situation and leave the rest. If you feel this message doesn't resonate, then head on over to one of your other placements. We're looking at your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs here. Okay, if you are new to my channel, hi, welcome, it's lovely to have you here. And if you are returning, thank you so much for your ongoing support, your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribes. So yeah, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe as it really does help to support my channel. As you can see, we've got lots of cards. Okay, I'm going to give you these because these have just jumped out for you already. Okay, so there's a new beginning in love for you here. A new adventure waits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Surrender. At times we may surrender to the old before something new can enter into our lives. So let go and all will work out for you. Okay, so there's a new beginning coming for you, but you've got to let go of something in the past first for it all to work out. Okay, believe in the magic. There is a new beginning coming for you, Aries, for sure. Okay, observer. Time to see a situation from a different perspective here. I feel like you've been looking at this with blinkers on and it's re it's time to remove those blinkers maybe remove those rose colored glasses and just see it from a different perspective because that's what's going to help you to ultimately surrender what you're thinking hoping feeling that hasn't gone your way with something in the past year that will shift and move when you believe in this this new beginning and let go of something in the past year and see it from a different perspective for sure Divine timing is at play here as well for you, Aries. So surrender to divine timing. I'm feeling drawn to the moon here. Moons represent your dreams, your psychic energy, your intuition. Cycles is coming through really strong here as well. So sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Okay, so as I said, just now if something hasn't worked out the way that you hoped it would then surrender to divine timing because it's all about timing for you and it's very much as well about seeing the situation from a different perspective for sure okay I just feel like you've been quite closed-minded and it's time now to open your mind to being open to I feel this new beginning Okay, so again, you've got the moon. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to leave the moon here with surrender to divine timing because I feel like that's really important for you. This cycle, this intuition, this seeing it from a different perspective because perhaps you're a little bit delusional about a situation that you now need to let go of for you to have this new beginning. Love how the cards are making sense and correlating here for you, Aries. Okay, so let's explore this energy a little bit more for you. So you've got the priestess, another card of intuition, okay? <laughs> you are really intuitive right now, Aries. You are getting really powerful, intuitive hits, and you need to listen to them. They're guiding you, and you need to pay attention to those signs for sure, because when you do, you are going to be in this Nine of Cups energy, which is celebratory, contented, successful, King of Rings here, responsible and abundance. The King of Rings is the King of Pentacles. And this is all about stability, financial, well-being, and just having everything in order. And I feel like because you are so um, strongly psychic and intuitive at the moment, sometimes as your ego will kick in and tell you, you know, you're imagining this situation, you know, you're hoping for something that's going to happen that never will but you've got to stop with the ego your gut is telling you something for sure that you need to be listening to okay because it will guide you it will protect you and it will move you ultimately towards this new beginning I feel drawn to give you this card as well okay so criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So definite something in your in your gut here that you need to see from a different perspective will help you to transform to this, this new beginning. So let go and all will work out. 
Okay, definitely going to. Things are coming back into balance. Things are coming back into alignment. you got to listen to that gut feeling. That's such a strong, powerful message. There's going to be some upheaval for sure. You've got the tower energy coming through here. So there's disruption, conflict, and it's happening for a reason. Okay, again, another card here with the five of swords of conflict, resentment. You have to see the situation from a different perspective. Let go of whatever's happened in the past and embrace this new beginning with this fool energy here. This is feeling optimistic, feeling positive about your future. Four of cups, but still doubting it here. You know, you're still thinking, you're still re-evaluating, you're still, I feel, overthinking a situation here. Because with that five of cups here, there's just this perpetual cycle of disappointment. You're dwelling, um, you're dwelling on the past and you're avoiding, I feel, moving on from something in the past that you definitely need to draw a line under. Six of Cups, looking back here, okay? Six of Cups is a card of um, nostalgia, reminiscing. But I feel the, reminis the reminiscing feelings are you holding on to something you need to let go of. Look, you're in that stuck energy there with that Two of Swords. You're avoiding the truth. You're avoiding making a decision to move on from this because you're not listening to your gut. You know in your gut, Aries, there is something here you need to listen to. I'm feeling spirit's messages coming through that somebody's made an accusation and you know when you get that that accusation isn't true and you need to let go of that and know that, you know, you've got to move on from it to allow this new beginning to happen. And I do feel it's around divine timing. And I do feel a strong sense that, you know, you really need to see the situation from a different perspective and listen to that gut feeling of yours. Whatever this means for you, you need to listen to it. Lucky you got the star. Okay, the ultimate hope, faith, healing, optimism. Nine of cups in return, uh, in reverse though, with the two of swords is definitely this feeling of un unhappiness. You're not feeling fulfilled because you're still ho holding on and harboring that past energy there. You've got to let it go. Okay, you've got to let it go. This negative thinking, this negative um, emotion that you're holding on to, this negative situation is moving on. Okay, when you let go of it, you listen to your gut. You know what, what the situation is because you know in your gut you're having such strong intuitive hits that you need to listen to them okay because it's going to change things for you all right in a really positive way so we have this card that's just flipped out of the deck here so yeah you're definitely becoming guarded but with that star card there uh, and the eight of wands i just feel that whatever the situation has been there may be may have been some jealousy and this criticizing one another is because somebody as i said has possibly misinterpreted a, a, a totally innocuous situation with someone. Maybe someone's been overspending. Maybe you've been overspending. Maybe there's been some arguments around money in your in your relationship. But you've got to see this. All this is all pointing to you. Listening to your gut, trusting your gut. Okay, seeing the situation from a different perspective and allowing yourself to move on. Because boom, you have the wheel of fortune here. This is bringing in. Um, good luck I'm just going to pop that there because it's far too big a deck to put on top of the uh, the layer here but I'll give you the base of the deck as well because you do have the six of wands which is victory, success it is in reverse for you though so I just feel like you're um, feeling a sense of loss feeling a sense of failure rather than embracing the positivity behind learning from this experience I feel there's a big lesson being learned here for sure. And one that is going to help you ultimately to uh, move forward and see the situation from a different perspective and bring in the healing, bring in the optimism of that faith, hope and healing of the star. Bring in fast communication. I feel like honest and open communication is, is key here for you as well, Aries, because it will bring in good luck, a change of the cycle, perhaps this pattern that's been reoccurring with you and your person. And there's going to be change that's going to come that's going to need a serious adjustment for you to move past what has happened, put it behind you and look forward to a new beginning. There's a new adventure, a new beginning awaiting you. 
So embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Surrender the old, embrace the new is what's coming through here. Really strong for you, okay? Life is going to hit you at times. You're going to have ups and downs and it's going to bring you some challenges. But learn from those challenges. Take lessons from them and don't repeat the same patterns. Because if you've been going through this repetitive pattern, this cycle with this situation or person, you can break that pattern. You can change that pattern. So just see it from a different perspective. Try something new here, okay? Because there is an opportunity here for you to resolve this situation. But you know that in your gut anyway. You know that. And with that wheel of fortune there, I just feel like things are about to come good for you. So if you've been going through ups and downs, things have been challenging, your challenges are coming to an end, but you've got to let go of something here that you know when you get, you have to let go of for this new beginning to emerge and happen for you, okay? So Aries, I really hope this helps. I hope it resonates. If it does, let me know in the comments box. Um, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it really does help to support me. And give the video a little thumbs up if you like it, the message and it resonates with you. But for sure, Aries, listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. It is guiding you and protecting you and leading you up the right path to make a right choice and a right decision to help you with this new start, this new beginning.